What's going on? It's your boy Coach here, and we are on day 27. So day 26 is in the books. Um, we are started with our cardio class and um, got that out of the way. A lot of homework to do, so I'm going to be kind of idle. So I'm trying to get a walk in, make sure I'm staying active. You know, um, active rest, I could say, I guess. And um, got an activity to do tomorrow, but meals all ready to go. So I'm gonna try and stick within those parameters and get through the weekend and see where we're at on Monday. So something I wanna talk about today is a tracking tool I use, and I've discussed it real briefly in another video, but is these in-body scans. And something that um, I kinda like is that it has a bunch of different ways, and I don't know if there's a way to put this up there easily, but. Um, I kind of monitor it. It'll show you know how much body fat mass you have and muscle mass and things like that, and where you tend to hold those um, within your body. So um, what I like to do is once a month get one of these just to see you know how my composition looks. Um, and something that you want to take into account is that these numbers, it's a machine, and it's just it's it's a guesstimate. Like it's not exactly how you are composed, but it, it can be helpful over time. So as you get more data, you can kind of see which way you're tracking. So something for me, like I've said in the past, is holy muscle mass, and especially in a deficit, that's something I'm very aware of um, because body fat is gonna come off in a deficit, but the more muscle you hold, the more calories you can burn at rest. And like I said, it's just generally good for um, keeping strength and things like that and performance. So although I took, I've taken a few readings in the last month or so and used two different machines, which actually had a different variance. And so I have to be mindful of that. And with one of the readings, it showed that I've lost some muscle. And at first I was a little alarmed at my reading this morning, but I have to remember that, you know, these aren't exactly reflective of how my body's changing. And so that my gym performance this week was great. My strength was great. I was pretty happy with it. And so losing muscle, I don't know that that was accurate, but one thing that was accurate was the fat loss. And I can see that in my waist um, and in my baseline. And so when I take pictures on Monday, that's something I can look at. And if you start losing muscle, you'll notice um, a, a size difference over time. And so that's something I'm monitoring because you don't want to lose muscle. If you have a high calorie deficit or you're really pushing the limits, your body has no choice but to break down that tissue. So um, you don't want to do that. Now, um, I can say also that I haven't been very hungry in terms of I've had a little hunger, but for the most part, keeping satiated, I haven't felt like I've really beat my body too hard. It's, it's recovered at an okay rate. That's something else that is the harder you push your body, you will some point start breaking down lean tissue. So, and we will end it there. So take care.